What's up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your third Blender tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're going to be creating objects, but uh, before we get started I gotta ask you guys something, cause I gotta find out if I'm the only one who feels this way and if I'm just crazy, or if this is the way it actually is. But does it seem like every single person who eats sushi, they have one common goal and that's to get other people to eat sushi. It only happens with sushi and nothing else because I don't eat sushi but anytime um, someone asks me if I eat sushi or not and I say no they're like oh you gotta eat it you just gotta eat sushi and then if I'm like uh well I mean I tried it once and I didn't like it but they're like you gotta try it again you just gotta you just gotta eat sushi you didn't eat it right or I gotta take it to a new place so uh yeah so you know Take it easy, crazy sushi eaters. I don't want to eat sushi. So for the next 10 people who ask me, you know, I'm not eating it. So, But anyways, uh, you guys didn't come to hear about my sushi stories, or at least not most of you. You guys came to learn Blender, so let's do that. So make sure you uh, open Blender and hold down Control and press X and press Erase All. And this will uh, set you back to defaults no matter where you are. Uh, pretty much starting new. And now the first thing we're gonna do is learn how to select so we can go ahead and select this camera this little thing over here is the camera by right mouse button clicking it just like that and another cool thing before I uh, continue if you just hate selecting things with your right, right mouse button because it's common to select them with your left mouse button what you can do is scroll down here and scroll down a little bit more and you can select with left mouse button right here and this will uh, give you the common left mouse select and then you're just gonna have to follow along in uh, that kind of way but since I'm teaching everyone um, you know the mass general public I figured I would just keep all the defaults but anyways if you feel like changing it, it's up there and anyways like I was saying to select this camera go ahead and right mouse button select it and that will select it it will turn pink now just like other common programs you can select multiple things by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and selecting this and selecting this which is the light so again holding down shift on your keyboard lets you select multiple things at once and another hotkey for selecting everything is the A button on your keyboard so go ahead and press A toggle it on and off and as you can see everything is deselected or selected so what A stands for in blender is all and it allows you with one button to select all of everything or um, deselect everything so the first thing we're going to want to do is we want to get rid of this cube so go ahead and right mouse button only your cube uh, make sure you have nothing else selected and you can either hit X or delete on your keyboard and when you do you're going to have to go through this OK and when you click left mouse button um, answer that question it deletes your cube so again if you hit X or delete with anything selected in Blender, it'll delete it. I usually use delete because I mean they didn't make a delete bu button for nothing. So the next thing we probably notice is this little crosshair thing right here that happens when we left mouse button click. And what this little crosshair is, is called the 3D cursor. Now what this is, is wherever you click this 3D cursor, that's where a new item is going to appear when you create it in 3D space. So if you want to move this around to create an item in a new location, left mouse button click that location. So I'm going to be creating one right in the middle, so I'm going to left mouse button click right in the middle. So to create an item, we finally get to create one. Here's what we do. Go ahead and press space on your keyboard and click add mesh icosphere or I think that's how you say it. Then go ahead and click that and then we can just go ahead and click OK by the defaults and now we have a sphere created right in the middle so say we want to create another object what we'd have to do is click away click that 3D cursor somewhere else actually let's click it to the left press space add mesh and we'll add a cone this time and go ahead and click OK and we're looking at it from the top so that's why it looks weird right now but again anytime um, you're like creating objects and you can you can't see that you created a new one chances are your cursor is probably set on top of your other one so well just take note of that if you uh, 
copy a bunch of items on top of each other. That's what's probably happening. But anyways, moving on. Let's move on with some simple transformations or how to move these babies around. The first thing we're going to want to do is select our icosphere, or I'm just going to call it ball or something. And the first thing we're probably going to want to learn how to do is rotate these things. So with the item selected, go ahead and press R on your keyboard. And what you can see is you have this little line that comes out of the sphere and it starts rotating it. Well, when you rotate this, what you can do is drag. You don't have to click anything but R. And if you clicked with the left mouse button, it'll set it. If you click with the right mouse button, it'll reset it to the default. So if you're saying, all right, I'm going to press R on my keyboard, and um, do I, actually, I changed my mind. I don't want to set it. Anytime you want to reset it, just click right. Anytime you want to set it, just go ahead and click your left mouse button, and it'll set. And there are a couple other things that you can do. Um, S, if you have an item selected and you press S, what this does is scale it to make it bigger or smaller, and again to set it just go ahead and press your left mouse button and look at that it sets it into place gives it a new scale or the last thing I'm going to teach you for this tutorial is how to grab it and move it around to grab it go ahead and press G and now you can do the same you can just move it around and set it somewhere new like mm, looks pretty good right there but another thing I want to teach you with grab is go ahead and press G and now you can move it around freely but sometimes you only want to constrain it to certain axes since this red axis that goes left and right is the X and the one that goes up and down is the Y so if you only want to be uh, allowed to move it along the X axis go ahead and tap X on your keyboard and now look at this we can only move it left or right and again that works for Y and also Z so go ahead and press uh, left mouse button to, um, you know, set that into place. And, you know, we're getting uh, pretty late in this tutorial, and I got uh, some sushi to eat. Just kidding. I'm not going to eat it. I mean, seriously, stop getting me to eat sushi. It's not going to happen. But anyways, that's that for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll be learning some other cool stuff we can do with these objects now that we finally learned how to create them. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure all you people who don't eat sushi watch my next tutorial. And all you people who do eat sushi, um, I'm sure you have a sushi cult meeting where you have to get other people to eat sushi or something like that. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.